Hello everyone, welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. I am Deborah, and today is the Saturday vloggy thing. It's December, it's the end of the year, and I keep getting packages in the mail that I'm really not expecting. Whoa. Before I get to the packages though and to all the yarny stuff, I want to jump into a little bit of life stuff. Because, you know, there is life and stuff here on this channel. Um, earlier this week, I had quite a shock. Um, some of you may know I have a lot of problems with my feet and I have had many surgeries on my feet and I've got a great podiatrist, um, Dr. Middleton. He is awesome. Gentle, sweet, nice, almost exactly my age. Uh, he's a month younger than me, so I did refer to him as a youngster a few times. Super cute. I mean, you know, married kids and all that stuff. But I always told him, you know, he's my super cute doctor. Wonderful sense of humor. Was fantastic for my surgeries. Um, this is a gentleman with skills and bedside manner, okay? Um... You don't always find that with doctors. Some you do, some you don't. This guy was just genuinely nice. A little family doctor practice, uh, podiatrist practice. And I say was because I had an appointment uh, scheduled for next week. And come to find out, his wife found him dead. Yeah. Like the week before. Um, I spazzed, okay, because he was not only my podiatrist, he's my husband's too. And he was actually in the room with me and I sit there with my phone propped up and I, and I talk while I'm working, uh, when I talk about appointments and stuff. And we were both like, what? Cause he heard it and I heard it. And the receptionist was like, yeah. And you know, we have to reschedule you with, um, another doctor in the practice. And I'm like, but wait, what? <laughs> This was not an old man. I'm 51. Yeah, he was 51. I didn't get any details, obviously. I'm not part of the family, despite the fact that he was, you know, my adorable podiatrist. But, yeah, that it hit me so hard because, you know, this is not a person that I had just been to see once or twice, you know. When I had all the pins in my feet, this was my guy. I mean, this is, so yeah, it really, it really struck me hard. And of course, Yarny Community helps me out, you know, got me cheered back up because it hit hard. I was like, you know, sobby McSob face for a little bit. Yeah. And I don't like that. I don't, I don't like to cry in front of people, even myself. <laughs> so, wow. <sighs> It's weird because all of the people that are getting old and dying are my age now. Yikes. Yeah. Back to better life and stuff. Um, yeah, there are a lot of videos coming up. Uh, there's always time for tea. There'll be a time for tea video Monday morning. There'll be a book look on Sunday. And um, also later on today, I will be recording the results of the uh, Birthday Angels giveaway for Daigo Crochet. So I don't know which one you'll watch first, but you know, they're all, it's all getting done today. Um, so there's a lot of stuff coming up. Yarny wise, there is some stuff coming up. One that is not quite a whip yet. But if you saw my latest haul, which was a haul from Hobby, which I had never ordered from before. Oh gosh, I've got yarn popping out. Um, it was for this, most of this, not this particular skein here. Because this is going to be my temperature project for next year. I'm going to record a video about it. Oh, forgot to bring one thing in here about that project. Stand by. Sorry for the jump. Uh, for the temperature project, I do have this, my crochet project planner that I got from Crojo Corner. I actually won it. A wonderful giveaway. Um, but in here <laughs> were all the crazy notes for it. You probably can't see it. It wouldn't make sense to you if you did. And I've got a diagram. 
it is written out. My temperature project is going to be a little different than some you've seen, or maybe, maybe there's one out there like it. I don't know because it's just what I do. Okay. There is no place that I've gone to get this project. I have this awesome cute notebook <laughs> that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Things I can't say during a video call because yeah. And in the back of the notebook, I have got this. These are my colors for my temperatures. I also, I have it broke down in Celsius and in Fahrenheit because I'm going to learn to remember what those Celsius temperatures are because come on America, we need to join the 20th century already. That's right, the 20th century because we all should be on metric. Anywho, these are the colors that are going to be in it. And I will talk more about that when I make my video for it, because I'm going to go over all the details and I hope that people will join me in doing their own temperature project. You can copy mine, you can do your own. But yeah, I chose blues and mine is going to be a blanket. It's gonna be big, last the whole year. It's not like you're doing it all in one week. So it's all good. So more yarny things, this here. Um, it is a little big. That is not the fault of the pattern. That is a fault of the crochet. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the measurements and I just kind of kept going. A uh, jean on the hook crochet, which I, if I remember, I'll put it up her link up here. And if not, I'll describe uh, put her down below. She is huge in the community and she does so many patterns and things. This is the purple party uh, hat. No, it's not purple. It's gray. And it is from this yarn that I got. I got mill ends. I think these were Lion Brand. Um, I don't remember. They're not labeled. But it is four weight acrylic. Just your basic acrylic yarn. It's good. It's all right. I wanted to try it out. Wasn't sure what I was going to do with all of this yarn. I still don't know what I'm going to do with all of it. I have another pack just like it right up there. So plenty of yarn. But yeah, this is kind of cool. Like I said, it's a little big. But that's all right. It's actually supposed to be a beret. But with mine, my brim is actually too big too. So I went ahead and pinned my antisocial butterfly pin on there. That was gifted to me from the hubby because, you know, he knows me. I can be a little antisocial sometimes. Just a little. Uh, everything else is whips. I have not worked on my pick and mix cow yet for this week. It's still sitting in its bag over there. Just haven't had a minute to do it. Once I'm done with work today, I'll be taking care of that. The hubby blanket still receiving no love because uh, there just aren't enough hours in a day. There is, oh gosh, I'm dropping things. Let's do this one here. I made a fingerless mitt, fingerless glove, you know, the thing. Okay. Ta-da, right? That's one. I started the second one, started struggling, and finally said, uh, F it, and put it down. I will make it eventually because, you know, I can't just rock the one glove thing. I'm not Michael Jackson. So, yeah, but this matches another divine hat that I have, which is over there that I've, you've seen me wear a few times. This is the yarn that is a uh, Red Heart Unforgettable. It is in the color, I think it's Dragonfly. Oh, yes, Dragonfly. And let me tell you, frogging this is kind of nightmarish. It's very fuzzy. It's beautiful. It's soft yarn. It's lovely. I love the colors. I love the fact that it's roving. Um, it makes it really fun to work with. But boy, when you mess up, y'all, it is no fun to frog this stuff right here. Okay. Trust me on that. And as someone who has to frog because she doesn't know what she's doing <laughs> most of the time. Yeah, I am a beginner crocheter. Let me put that out there. I got a lot of new folks and I do welcome you. Uh, thank you for coming by my little crochet life and stuff world here. Um, I just started crocheting this year, 2021. And I kind of jumped in with both feet and I've been having a blast. Found a wonderful community of all of you folks. So yeah, well, thank you for coming in. If you're new here, if you're not subscribed yet, consider doing that. That would be awesome. 
And uh, if you like, comment. I love getting comments. It does take me a few days to get back to comments sometimes because I do work 50 to 60 hours a week in addition to all the crochet stuff, which I would rather be doing all the time. But, you know, the bills, employment. Yeah, it's a thing. So there is another whip as well. I have like five or six balls left of this uh, Mandela, Lion Brand Mandela. What color is this? Unicorn. This is the colors that it works up into. Okay. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, just like everything else. Um, so I have started on another blanket because of course I did. And, but I'm just doing corner to corner. This is something I could work on while we're watching TV. It is corner to corner is like the easiest thing ever. As long as you're not trying to do like graph gan stuff or anything, you're literally just crocheting on, right? Look at that. That is turning out really nice. I am actually using a six millimeter hook with this, a J, even though I'm not sure what it recommends on here. It's a three weight yarn and it recommends a five. So that says, Oh, good grief. I'm going blind. It recommends a five. I went with a six because I want it to have a little bit of extra, you know, drapey dues to it. It doesn't have to be super tight. This corner to corner, it looks really pretty when it's worked up. It looks like you did something fancy, but you know, we all know better, right? <laughs> I'm not sure what I'll do with this. This might be for me um, to have another blanket. Very light blanket because it is a three weight. But since I have like five balls, five cakes of this, yeah, I can make it as big as I want, pretty much. I have other colorways up there of this, and I have a couple of some skinny cakes, too. So maybe more blankets. Yeah, I'll try not to start too many at once. Let me set this over here so it can go back. Okay, that is the yarny stuff for the moment. There's also this. I did start to cut it so that... I could get into it, okay? And I did not know what I was receiving in the mail. The hubby says, did you order something from Alaska? And I'm like, I don't think so. I forget what I order sometimes. I don't know if you do that too. You order something and then you go back to work and do what you're doing and all of a sudden you've got this package. It's like, oh, wow, I forgot I ordered that. Yeah, but no, I didn't think I had ordered anything specifically from Alaska. There's always other orders, you know, coming in. But this one has a name on it. It is from Debbie Loves Yarn. And I was like, what? Oh. <laughs> ah! Y'all. Okay, there's a card. There's a card. Oh, it's a postcard. I do not have a postcard from Alaska. Thank you, Debbie. Oh my gosh. And it's funny because we get into lives now. A lot of times I go to Lisa Ladybird Loves Lives, especially on a Friday or a Monday. And there's me. And she's referring to me now as Debra because I'm spelled D-E-B-R-A. And there's a Deborah. And there's a Debbie. <laughs> there's a lot of us with that name. You know, when I was in the sixth grade, there were like six or seven of us in my phys ed class that were called Debbie. She started just calling us by our last name, our phys ed teacher, because her name was also Debbie. It was a very popular name, apparently, in the years I was, around I was born. I was born in 70, and it was like, there were Debbies everywhere. But yes, look at that moose. The moose looks very happy. Bull moose, a large bull moose, wades into a tundra pond at sunrise. This is from a place in Anchorage, Alaska. I love that. That is beautiful. I've always wanted to visit Alaska. I wouldn't mind living in Alaska, the hubby says. Uh, no. <laughs> he can't take that much cold. I don't know if I could take that much cold, but, you know, I'd be willing to give it a shot. Oh, wait. There's a, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, here's a card card. Let me get into the card card, it looks like, because it's sealed. And y'all are making me try to open stuff. And I'm just no good at getting stuff open without tearing it up. The Llama Card! I love it. I always think these are so stinking adorable. <laughs> oh, that's right. 
actually, this is from Ingrid's birthday bash. I had forgotten because uh, Ingrid had her, Ingrid's Inspirations, who I will try to remember to link all the places, um, had her birthday anniversary thing. And it was a crazy wild ride because of load shedding. Um, she had to do it so quickly. So Lisa was up there snapping, you know, cracking the whip and snapping her fingers like, come on, we got to move along, got to move along. And I forgot that I won. I was having fun. And um, I won from Debbie Loves Yarn. She says, Debra, 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 with a British accent. <laughs> Enjoy your winnings from Ingrid's birthday bash. Hope you like. Hugs, Debbie. Absa stinking lootly. Are you kidding me? Let me get out get out what was over here, too. There's tea. Ooh. And don't worry, Lisa, you don't have to have any. It's raspberry herbal tea. And this is tea you can send as like a letter that is so cool. This greeting card contains two single serving tea bags of Alaskan herbal raspberry tea. It's a friendly tea for two from Alaska. Wonder if I can get in there without tearing it up. Let's do it this way. Instead of using my big old finger fingernailless hands. Let's see if I can just kind of snip it, make sure I'm not getting anything important because I'm not sending this to anybody. This is mine. Maybe I'll try some during a tea for uh, tea time. Time for tea episode. Oh, yes, this is so cool. You open it up. Let me put these down before I poke my eye out. It doesn't take a BB gun for me to poke my eye out, okay? Um, That is so clever in a little card. I love this. Can't even, it's, it's sealed up very well in here because I can't even get a whiff of it. Wow, that is awesome. Now, back to the yarn. I know some folks are only here for the yarn. It's crinkly, so I'm not gonna, oh, what, what the hay? Let's pull it out. Sorry, I know it's crinkly. Let me stop my timer because I'm late back for work now. Um, this is Thunderbird. Look, that is absolutely stinking gorgeous. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I do love the mandala. It is a three weight. And in here you got 150 grams, 540 meters. It's 100% acrylic and it's a nice three. It's not a super thin three. It's more like a three, three, three and a half. So you don't have, to, it's not hard to work with at all. It recommends a five millimeter hook. Don't know what I'll use because it depends on what I'm going to do with it, but this is how those colors are said to work up. Oh, squishy, squishy. Yummy, yummy. Okay, there's more yarn in here, y'all. Oh, Boundless Potential Wander Acrylic Yard. Isn't this the Furls? Yes! Okay, this is the Furls yarn. It's in the color Snow, 100% acrylic, worsted weight. It's got a little bit of halo to it. That is nice. It is very soft. It's 100 grams, 109 meters. And as Crystal would say, it's scarfable. It's not the softest in the world, but it's pretty darn soft. It's not scratchy by any means. Yes. That is so pretty. I've never had the furls anything. Let's see what this is. Oh, hang on. I got two. This one to go with. That is another Wander uh, with the same, yep, same stats. And this is called Dragon Fruit. You ever look at the inside of a Dragon Fruit? It's an odd fruit. You guys, there's other stuff that I've never had or touched in this bag. I'm pulling out all three of them at once. Because, <laughs> look, look at that shine. Oh, wow. Chain spun ice yarn, y'all. I have never had ice yarn. This is Rockabilly. At least this one is. Hang on, let me see if I can see these little labels that are hard to see. 67% tinsel, 33% polyamide. It is 50 grams, about 125 meters. 
and it's a four weight. Wow. Okay, the shine on this is kind of mesmerizing to me. Sorry. Look at that. And I love chain spun. As far as the types of yards that any that I've tried like so far, the chain spun is my favorite. You cannot split chain spun yarn, okay? And it makes it so much lighter. Oh. Oh, this is so silky, soft, and beautiful. There's a, a two colors there. The two that are on the outside and one that's on the inside. And of course, with ice yarns, you don't get the, the color names on the labels because I don't know what the reasoning is for that. But, oh, those are pretty. I have to, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with these. Debbie, thank you so much. I know this has turned into a super long video. Um... But this has been a weird week. So, yeah. But what a way to end it for me. Yarns. Wonderful yarns. I can't pick them all up. <laughs> and the postcards and the tea. Thank you. Hope everyone is having a wonderful week. I will see you all on the YouTube streets and uh, yeah, hope to see you back here very, very soon. And I got to figure out how to push the button. Bye y'all.